to X stories. In this special one-off episode, we'll be looking at the wonderful and beautiful world of tattoos. Special guests are included, family and friends, to hear about their stories and what their experiences were. And get a live recording of a tattoo happening. This is Ink Stories. I want a new silver bus full of old guitars My star on the night with Boulevard So where between Cher and James Dean is fine for me I'm gonna trade this life for fortune and fame I'll even cut my hair and change my name Hi, my name is Mark Robinson and I'm 19 years old and I have my own tattoos. I'm also a filmmaker, so where better place to start than my very own ink story? So my first one here um, is a simple like, rose design with a banner. Uh, it's got the family's initials. Uh, the MP is my dad's name, Matt. Um, then we have a woman, Lumi. That's myself, Mark. Um, my brother, Marius. Um, and my sister, Akusa. I got this to have a family with me at all times and to know that they're there always with me. And the second one was uh, this um, big design of this rose here. So this rose here, and um, we've got the uh, timepiece. And what it points to is 129, which is my time of birth. And then say time is precious because all time is precious. So a lot of people take it for advantage. And that's really the meaning behind it. And then I got this um, smaller one a couple of days later um, on Friday. On, um, Friday special, um, and I think it's like a strong bond to my family, and it says family first, because I think everyone should always put their family first. And yeah, they're the, they're the meaning behind all my tattoos that I've got. Um, they're not my last ones, but they're the ones I've got so far, and they mean quite a lot. We've got a big backstory to them. Yeah, my name is Jenny Sykes, um, age 71, and I live in Altrincham in Cheshire. Um, if you could um, show the camera, like, the tattoos you have, what my, each means. My very first one um, is the chain of daisies. Uh, I had that done when I was age 49, um, when I became a grandmother. And it was a little bit of a rebellion. I didn't want to be a granny at the age of 49. So at the same time as I had my tattoo done, I had a double piercing in my ear and I also have my belly button done. So that is my very first one. Um, the second one I had done was many years later. Um, it is a ladybird um, on a leaf and that was shortly after my father died um, in 1998. Um, he introduced me to ladybirds, they're a very little girl, and he loved them. And if ever we found one, we always had to go and find a leaf for it to be safe on. And then, um, in 2014, uh, when my mum died, I had the English blue butterfly um, tattooed on my right arm. Um, for a butterfly to land on you, that's a moment of happiness. And my mum was everything to me. She loved the English butterfly. And so I have got both when I really, really need them, even though it's probably not real. And then the final one I had um, was purely for my pleasure, uh, which is another larger butterfly. Um, and actually, I can't see it. But I know it's there and I love it. And so that's the history. I've always loved tattoos. Um, I fell in love with them as a very, very tiny little girl um, when my grandfather, who was a Royal Marine in World War I, came home from India. And to tell his story of India, all that was available was tattoos. And so when I was born in 1947, and 
following years, I would sit on his knee and he would tell me the story of his tattoos. So I see them as something very, very precious and a story. Um, I don't see it anything to do with peer pressure or anything like that. To me, it is... So that's my story about my tattoos. Uh, Matt Robinson. And how old are you, Matt Robinson? I'm 45. Um, if you could please explain your tattoos and what they mean. I only have one tattoo and it's just uh, the, the lime burden for Liverpool. If you could please ex show the camera. Just that. It's what, personal. What made you want to get this tattoo? And what, was there, what, what day did you get it and was there a special reason why? Uh, I can't remember the day. God, I've had it a long time now. Um, it goes back to my grandpa. And when I was a youngster, he, he took me to games when I was a youngster. Um, and I never had it done, and then I wanted to get it done, and then I decided to get it done. Well, I don't know. Yeah, so that was it. Has the tattoo got any special correlation with any Champions League or any no, it's games just, in particular? No, no, no. It's just you'll never walk alone with a bird. It's just Liverpool for what we are, everything we are. It uh, encompasses the whole beauty of what Liverpool Football Club meant to my grandpa and so it means to me. Thank you very much. For